If you Google the word reverse engineering, you probably won't find much. There aren't many people that, that do it and certainly don't do it the way we do. Nobody's ever gonna get fired for going to the OEM. We're the aftermarket supplier. We have to ensure with them that we have all the capabilities to make sure that we're delivering the same quality in the same part. If you were at a plant and a part broke and the production line is down and every minute they're down, it's all dollars. So we had a, a phone call this afternoon. The customer was in a bit of a panic. There was a, a gap between two rails that was throwing cans and they needed to slow the assembly line down. Their tolerances weren't tight enough. So at 2,000 cans a minute, the cans are falling over. These rails have to line up. If, if the bottom is touching but not being guided by the top rail, they're gonna tip, okay? We thought it was our part, it was a competitor's part and they're way out of whack on that tolerance. <clears throat> Their rails are out 60 thousandths. Gary has ours to zero, which is incredible. So that'll allow that much more productivity because they're, they're throttled back to 800 cans a minute yeah. because of that tolerance. Yeah. Unbelievable. When you're the OEM, if there's a problem, there's a problem. In our position, they have to be perfect every time. For us, quality is everything. For me, it's the puzzle. I, w I want to solve like the puzzle that's difficult to solve. The best is when they've tried and failed, and then we bring it in, and then John and Tom will give, give engineering all the resources they need to do it. And that makes the difference. This has such magnification that you can get real good depth into deep internal features, or something that might be extremely critical in an assembly. Some people, honestly, they're blown away when they see what we have around here. They really are. That's no exaggeration. We encourage people to come here and see what we do. We want to wow them, and we do. That really is something that strikes people when they do look at our website. They're like, oh, you're just not metal. You're just not um, gears. You are a wide range. It's all based on the customer need. The first time we used American Hope, it was a situation like I was talking about where the OEM did not have the parts. And a little apprehensive, to be honest, the first time, because I've always tried to deal with OEM people and I've had some bad experiences with parts from not OEM people. But they had everything in stock and everything worked correctly and everything was up to spec. We've used them ever since. Having the ability to make that individual part that goes on a machine and actually works, has the correct tolerances, has the correct material, hardness, surface finish, those are everything. And that's what differentiates us from a local machine shop. There's just such a pent up demand for a choice where You've been buying the same parts from the OEM for years with no ability to control price or delivery. So we give the customers options. To have a company that can work with you and follow the journey together to provide results, it's really what we do. Having a choice is huge as far as I'm concerned because quality, price, all plays into it. And if it's just the OEM, sometimes there are either issues with delivery or availability. And it's always good to have a backup plan. And uh, the OEM has become the backup plan. <laughs>